From underneath the car, here are the four O2 sensors. Sensor bank 1, sensor 1, blue arrow. Bank 2, sensor 1, red arrow. Bank 1, sensor 2, green arrow. And bank 2, sensor 2, yellow arrow. The sensor connectors are as follows. Bank 1, sensor 1, red arrow. Bank 2, sensor 1, green arrow. Bank 1, sensor 2, blue arrow. And bank 2, sensor 2, yellow arrow. Replacing the sensors before the catalytic converter. The oxygen sensors are located in the exhaust front pipe. Label or mark the wiring harness to aid during reinstallation. I suggest replacing one sensor at a time so you do not mix up the connectors. Pull the wiring harness out of the mount, then disconnect the electrical connector by pulling it straight apart as shown in the insert picture. Replacing sensors before the catalytic converter using an oxygen sensor socket, which is a 22 millimeter crow foot socket. Loosen the oxygen sensor connection to the exhaust manifold. Do not unscrew it yet. Follow the harness up and around the exhaust. Cut or remove any zip ties securing the harness to the engine, then remove the sensor from the exhaust. Lightly coat the new oxygen sensor thread with an anti-seize compound if it didn't come with one already. Install the new oxygen sensor and torque it to 37 foot-pounds. Then reroute the wiring harness and connect the electrical connector. Repeat this process if you are replacing both of the sensors. Then reassemble the engine covers and clear any engine fault codes using a Mercedes-Benz scan tool. Replacing the sensors after the catalytic converter are the same as replacing them before. The oxygen sensors are located in the exhaust behind the catalytic converters. Label or mark the wiring harness to aid during reinstallation. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.